It's Sunday. Why are you yelling? Wow. That that ramped me up. That felt brute force right there. It, it was looks a brute like you can go through intro. a wall right now. I'm excited. Can you just go to the other apartment just right through the we wall? We talk through. Yeah. If we, I mean, if we were going to stay here for another year in this apartment, we were talking about drilling holes through all the walls. Oh, my God. We just, I mean, with you. You were the one who fucking suggested it. What do you mean? Oh, my God. Put holes through there. Oh, <laughs> yeah. There. I thought you we meant for like your apartment, like an apartment, like the next apartment. Uh, I mean, we could. I don't want that. I don't really want it either. But yeah. listen, we got to do what we got to do. You don't even know who lives there, right? No, I don't think I've ever. We should just them. put a hole there and just put snacks penis in there and see what what happens. What the fuck? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> like he would bis- do it. Our business would shut down in five, like five. They he don't even do know it. there's a business running in here. Uh, do you think I legally am supposed to be telling them? I, I'm a hundred percent. You're supposed to tell them because you need like business insurance, no? Like Why? liability. Who needs if insurance like, when we're net? We don't do th- anything wrong. If Max falls, he sues you. That's like a fucking old man insurance thing. That's like a him thing. I guess. Fuck that. He's not employed by me anyways. He doesn't get insurance from the me. The Knicks even... are bike. We're fucking bike, baby. Dude, the next game was electric. I'm pissed. I, was, I had a little bit of FOMO, I'm not going to lie. You should have, to be honest. It was like well, I was one time I would so. ever... Yeah, not, like no one really was. It was just M3 and then Ike was the camera guy, so we had him on. But it was like 1,500 people in MSG. It's probably insane. It felt like a scrimmage. It was ridiculous. And the, the funniest fucking... Well, actually, there are a lot of funny parts. We made signs and like we knew we weren't going to... They weren't allowing signs? Like They weren't allowing signs. Well, someone... We, were, we tweeted out that we were making signs. Someone tweeted at Snacks and was like, they're not going to let you bring them in. So we just like shoved them down our... Okay, so a few things actually went on here. <laughs> the getting through the gate was like i felt like we were 15 years old again and like running from the cops or like playing ding dong ditch or something because we did like there was like three things that we knew we were doing wrong that we weren't supposed to do one the covid tests so you need to have a pcr test within 72 hours of seeing the game right the game was on tuesday so you need to do it by like saturday or sunday or whatever the math adds up to be we had talked about it the previous week. We're like, let's go to the Knicks game on like Wednesday. So I was like, all right, I'll get mine the next day. So I got it on Thursday and I didn't realize it needed to be 72 hours in advance. So I was like, ah, fuck, you know, like this, they're not gonna let me in. Cause that's 124 what? hours. Yeah. Like, I mean, that's the well, rule. Like Saturday so. and Sunday. You can't get like, they I were- got the PCR test back on like Thursday. Yeah, it, yeah. it was like almost a week, you know? Okay. Um, so them, they were going to go on like Sunday. They ended up going to a few places and for some reason they couldn't get the test done. I don't remember. I didn't really ask questions, but I was like, yo, I texted them concerned. I was like, I don't think I'm going to be able to get in. Cause it wasn't 72 hours. And I was just like, don't worry. I have a plan. I'm like, oh fuck. Like, what are we going to do here? We all got tested. They got rapid tests. I got the regular PCR tests. So I knew I was fine, but the date was like three eighteen twenty one. So I just screenshotted the 21, put that shit in Photoshop. <laughs> and moved it over like 20 centimeters <laughs> so we had five photoshopped covid tests like, they had like uh anthony the next little this next little brother sent him over like a covid test that he got like a couple weeks ago or some shit it, it was a fucking ma- and people you I know, should be arrested oh uh, i fucking agree even though i was good because i got we all got yeah. a test and shit in they don't let you in with rapid tests so like we knew we were fine but like we we couldn't get in without it so we had the the fake covid test that we were going through we wanted to bring a vlog in there, but they don't let you bring mics in there. So we like put it into a girl's purse and it was like a big fuzzy mic. We're like, just pretend it's like part of your keychain or some shit. And they stopped her at the door. They're like, what is this? And she like lied about it. They eventually let her go through. Then we had signs all tucked into our pants and shit. So we were like going in there, heavily strapped with shit we were not allowed to have in there. And we, we got through all of it. And That's it was, amazing. I mean, they're probably all rusty. Yeah, they don't, they I mean, they don't give a fuck. It's like dudes that are just like, they're just- Dudes like, being guys. Dudes being guys. Like, you know, you're, you're trying to have fucking fun. We got you. Let go have fun with your fucking boys. Go in. Yeah, it was sick. So you we just went, said like the mic was like a you know bitches use it for that like that's what I was saying. Face. Yeah, yeah, that's true too. Yeah. yeah, I didn't think that was going to be a problem. I just like they got it. And they're like, what is this? One, like, like one time I touched that, I thought they looked dry. I put it on my face. I was an instant different color. What do you mean? Like Heather has one of those sponges that looks uh, like your mic, and yeah, I like yeah. slapped it. I poked it on my face. I, Yo, had to, I had to take like another shower. Makeup's a crazy motherfucker. Dude. Sometimes I wonder like how good looking we'd be if we put makeup on. Then again, <laughs> we, ha- we have our beard, so we would look fire. Yeah, with, with the eyebrows I have. I would just need to cover up my fucking eyes. The bags? Yeah. I feel like people put tape and then they just put makeup and then they don't have bags. <laughs> yeah, that's facts. I'm down for makeup. Gary Vee thinks men's makeup's going to be really big within the next like 10 years. Yeah, I mean, if everyone's... I mean, every news anchor puts makeup because they're on the screen, so... I yeah, I think why. he meant on like a personal level, but like I can understand that. I, I, honestly, I, I don't... Like, I'm not mad about that, but I really hope that's after us so i don't need to like start buying mascara and yeah like learning how to it's do it's one that. of those things like right now i'm like i'll never do it but like pretty much everything on me right now at one point i was probably like i'll never do it i'll never wear like high white socks i'll never get tattoos i'll never wear short shorts it's all come full circle yeah. i'll never buy an expensive mic like <laughs> it's all bullshit that i tell myself and then within a couple of years i'm like i'm i'm in i'm all in I'm when, all I was, in. when i was leaving the apartment today heather's like 
ah, you look nice. And I'm like, why'd you say it like that? She's like, you look like a fucking YouTuber. I was <laughs> Fuck like, you. I was, like, I was like, funny you mentioned it, and I'm going to go do tube right now. <laughs> and then I scooted away. <laughs> <laughs> you probably look like such, such a loser. Yeah, yeah. I just need like a fucking purse, and then I would have been good to go. All right, where, all, where are we at? So, yeah, the, the garden was electric. Yeah, oh. overall, 10 out of 10. Yeah. Would it's, do it again? Oh, 100%. I was thinking about buying season tickets. Wow. But not really. It's going to be so expensive. Yeah. Tickets are like 50 bucks a pop, though. They need money. Yeah, they'll they'll continue to open it back up more and more. Yeah, um, felt good to just be like back into like a normal. That's what I'm saying. Something to being do. into the stadium and shit. Yeah, it was fun. So I don't know if I'm allowed to say the, is the contract's done. The contract I'm still waiting on them to send over mm-hmm. uh, because they have to finish funding their Series A round, which is like their you have like the so when a company's getting investment money, like the first round is called seed money, right? Yeah. They, their initial money, then you get Series A, B, C, whatever, and then you can go public there in the middle of closing their series a round. So I don't think we can evaluate the equity or whatever until the series a round closes. So they said they should have the contract over to me within a week or so, like a week or 10 days. So yeah. not officially closed. And I also still have not reached out to other like competitor companies that I could have worked with to let them know that yeah. there's a deal on the table. So I should probably do that before we like dive, dive into it. Um, but it's pretty much everything we talked about last week. You know, How, are you still bringing up the equity or you're just, cause you said you're going to try to break it. Uh, I asked them that. Yeah. A legal, it would be something we'd have to do on the back. Like I'd have to personally figure out how to do it. Cause they're like, yeah, we can't take that to the, 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 like the board and be like, we want to split it tiny little fractions of it between yeah. like seven people and shit. So we are going to take, assuming the deal goes through and it is as it stands. Now we're going to take the whole thing in equity, no cash. Oh we're gonna, shit! We're gonna go no cash. We're going into the red this fucking year. We're yeah, going, we're going red. We're going we're fucking going red. red. We're going yes! fucking red. We're, we're going big bankrupt. I've been waiting to go red. Yeah, I, I think it makes you fucking hungry. I agree. I'm like if, if there's no money in my fucking bank account, we're just maxing out credit cards. Stock market went down this week. I got like no cash on me. I'm Zero? like I'm, I'm not liquid at all. That's, that's a lie. I got my <laughs> cash on me. I don't know why I got so pumped up. We're gonna go heavy equity only because like. When I took equity with them last summer. Are you sure that that number added up? Because you told me that number and I was just like. Dude, I think it's real. I think it's legit. Yeah. So I took equity. Yeah. Basically, they gave me shares last summer. And at the time, I don't think it was really worth that much. And now the Series A funding is going through. And they're like, oh, well, you could take this amount of cash or I think it's like share. I don't remember what the fucking numbers were, but it was a lot less shares than I took last summer. And it was a significant amount of straight cash. So I'm like, oh. If that ratio just adds up where it's like this number of shares equals this number of cash and I took way more shares last summer, then that means that's way more cash. I mean, if that's true, then and I, I do believe it is because I talked to a few people. There's actually a lot of people that reached out to me after last episode, like talking about the deal and the contract and shit, even though we didn't really get into like too many details. Um, but it seems like my my head is on correct with that math. So yeah. that's why I'm OK. Like, can I have some? Honestly, probably, yeah, sure. Yes. You can probably have some equity in this new fucking deal, depending on how many shares they give. If we go like super... Uh, equity base this this time around. I did negotiate for a little bit higher of a CPA as yeah. well. Not huge, but like it over if you know if we get a thousand, two thousand users to sign up, it's a little nice little chunk of change on top of it. As you should. I mean, a contract's just a base to start negotiating. So you have mm-hmm. you can if you just accept the first offer, you're full. So we negotiated up a little bit to make us a little bit more liquid, but also like having Mike's Patreon booming right now too is something that I was talking about with the team is like we need the liquidity for the year because if we're going to make decisions like this yeah and it's a big decision yeah they're going to pay us back in in a year two years three years down the line like by the time there's they raise their series b which could be in a year could be in two years their valuation is going to go up a fuckload again you know setting us up for the long term obviously might be a little bit difficult this year cash wise i mean it's fine but like talking about like your mike's money is going to help keep everything balanced and then you do have money in the bank that you just Mm -hmm. you have no problem investing back into the company but talking about that downsizing this place so then you save a little bit of extra dough yeah so this is tricky now because tj uh, who is going to be my roommate for the new place what he did for work i'm not like exactly sure you said it was just marketing what scope basically what i did when i first left my job was running the social media you know facebook instagram and shit he did that as well freelancing Mm -hmm. he hit on a really big client though like one that you know, Big whale. Yeah, like made him for the foreseeable future and pretty much took care of him financially for a couple of years. And uh, he texted me like two nights ago, basically just saying, uh, we're not, I'm not renewing the contract with them. Jeez. Yeah, so that obviously puts him in a terrible place. He's like, I can't just be bleeding cash in NYC right now without like some financial setup, uh, which, you know, 
puts me I, I, I obviously I understand. it's understandable I can't be, yeah you, i can't yeah, be mad yeah. at him but it puts me in a tough situation because now i'm like ah oh, fuck you know there's less time i legitimately really i have to let them know about like april 1st and like f by the time this goes out like three days four days what i'm doing and now i have to like restart my search again with a different criteria of apartments and shit and obviously you know g cutting the budget in half means if i you know cutting the budget from two persons down to one person cuts it in half immediately and then if i'm trying to downsize in terms of cash cuts that even smaller you know so it puts me in a weird fucking place i don't know what i might do is ask this leasing office if they'll let me go month to month once his contract up so mm -hmm. i could like you know figure shit out as it goes and it gives me an extra 30 days to like search for a new apartment that might open up i been working with a realtor i saw i saw an awesome place i think i sent you the video the bigger one right yeah but that one that walked through that had a lot that was of amazing but so it was so that was 6k for the 6k rent for the month they closed the deal. I, I hit them back the next day. I was like, oh, I'm interested. Like, can we talk about terms or whatever? Uh, the guy was like, sorry, we had like 12 applications come through yesterday. We ended up closing at seven, eight. So it went up $1,800 rent Jeez. in that. And I was like, ah, fuck. Okay. So uh, we needed to keep looking. And, uh, and he said, and I kept talking to that realtor. He's like, I'll help you with your search or whatever in the criteria. And he was like, the last couple of days of the month and the first couple of days of the new month are when like new places yeah. get listed back on. So he's like, you know, keep your eyes peeled around then and we'll probably, you know, I can get into the realtor database where they, they don't always list on street. MLS easy or shit. Whatever yeah. Called. Yeah. They don't list on street easy because you, you have to pay fees if you're keeping it up for X number of days mm -hmm. or whatever. So, um, uh, I'm still a little bit hopeful right now, but if like if 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 April like seventh comes around or something and like there was not a lot of new listings on there, I'll be like, oh fuck, like I'm kind of in a pinch here. So yeah, I'm a, I'm still a little bit stressed on that. I just don't really know like so what, what what's I can the budget, do. <sighs> dude. I don't know. Like I really don't know. I, I I I still think it's gonna come down to like the place that I see. Like if I find a place, ideally, I'd like to completely max out at four. I'm not trying to push to like forty two hundred or something like that, and like not have things included in that. That would be nice. Like, I'd be cool with, like, fucking 2,800, but that's not going to have enough space for me to do anything. Mm -hmm. But if I find a place that's, like, fucking 4-3, and I'm just like, this will this will get the shit done, like, we'll go for we'll go for red this year, bro. No, we're just going for red. Going Everything's for red. just red. I feel like that I'm, like, pumped, but also, like, this is a huge disaster if you're just... I know. That's what's just going to be the quote of the year. Go I know. for red. Go for red. <laughs> it's never... It's Nothing's going to work. Yeah. We're just going to go for red and continue going Dude, down the Vinny road. Dude, Vinny Chase, remember? He was just, like, really poor for a season and a half. I ain't going back to Jersey. I ain't you, going you back. Back to Emerson. <laughs> I ain't Bro, going back to Queens. I can't handle the heat or whatever. Johnny <laughs> in the Drama valley, says. Yeah. That's what I'm I'm feeling like right now. I'm in the fucking heat. What but, I mean also too, what's nice is you have this still, but I think you need to email them immediately. Be like, will you allow me to go month to month? Because they say no on April 1st. You have to give them an answer on April 1st. Mm -hmm. You can't wait till April 1st. Yeah. And I, I think there's like some kind of laws or rules too that like, one, if you don't tell them in time, they can automatically renew your lease. Two, I'm pretty sure if you don't tell them within a certain number of days, they could also take your security deposit for not telling them. Yeah. So yeah, they've been hitting me up and I finally emailed them back after last episode. And I, I was just like, listen, I'm not, I'm still not sure exactly what I'm doing. When's the, when do I need to let you know by? And they said, like, try your best. Let us know by April 1st what you're doing. So, okay. And the leasing office is fucking right in the front desk, like when you walk in, so I can go in there and like talk to them if I need to. Yeah, well. I feel like you should definitely ask, like, just to get it. Can I go month to month? And yeah. then they say no, then you're like, okay, I'll let you know by April 1st. Yeah. I want, I want to see if they do month to month, if they'll let me do like the rate that they offer me. Because for the renewing the new year, they're giving me like two months free plus like 200 or $300 off the rent. But I feel like if I go month to month, they're going to be like, no, you have to continue with the payment that you're doing. Now. 100%. And I'm gonna be like, I fuck off. I'm out. Do you think if you have a, you don't have a roommate, say you get what you need, are you just going to make like the living room straight studio? Like you don't even care this time around? I mean, realistically, this place only it looks like we need a lot of space to have a lot of stuff, but I only bought a lot of stuff because we had a lot of space. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like if we go to a new place, most of the shit we don't need, like I don't need the mini fridge. I don't need the bar. I don't need fucking multiple fucking garbage. You know, there's a bunch of shit. So multiple that I, garbage cans. Is that what you're well, I have like three, two <laughs> like or three. That's literally, I don't like, know why that. Yeah. Yeah. That was, Oh my God. We don't need multiple garbage. Cans. We'll leave, we'll live like fiends. Nah, hell. I just don't need that much space. So, we could downsize. We should ratio it out. I think like the podcast table doesn't need to be anywhere near that big. My desk can fit. I don't know. The only thing that needs to come, obviously, is this couch. We need like the couch to fit along with somewhere that a podcast table and a desk can fit. Yeah. So as long as like those three things can fit and we can do like an aesthetic area around it or something, that could work. So sorry. Work has been killing me. What's wrong? Talk about it. You're a boss, so you're like never off. You know, you always have uh, probably emails and Tell anything. me about it. And then... Like today, I actually just took off. I was like, I need, I need three days in a row. I just need to relax. I've been very super frustrated. It just happens, you know. Sexually or 
No, sexually it's been awesome. Heather. <laughs> and then um but like mentally and just at work, just been you know, the, you get to these funks where you're just like, take one more step closer and I'm gonna end you. Say, I literally say it again. I literally turned to my manager here, like the other day, I'm like, You are so fucking annoying. <laughs> you can't say that. I'm like, I will say it you're again. So fucking yeah, annoying. like and it's just at that point I'm like, I need these three days. It's funny, uh Noah came yesterday just to look at engagement rooms with his uh his girlfriend just to get an idea they never um oh did you pull that off well you know what he just came in and was like listen i told her i just want uh, i just want to know but like i told her like you know this is a process eight months so i bought him some time you know they were super like it's a nice. process eight months i'm going in there and like buying probably on first glance well, you also have me too so like that makes it easy. like i yeah. i would know what you need T- so. tell them tell them like how you were gonna set uh, our, our, our friend Noah is like, he's been with his girl for a while and he's, he's starting to get into the process of looking at rings. So Steve works at Tiffany's obviously, you know, we linked them up and I was like, yeah, I'll just talk to Steve. He'll get you some, something right for you. And, and he has like this way of like avoiding the girl knowing that they're looking while actually looking in the Tiffany store. Yeah. Um, I, it sucks that because I was totally prepared to do it, but then he just came out and said it. So it kind of threw me off my mm-hmm. game. So I was like, wait, what? But usually when uh, clients come, a guy will come in. Be like, hey, I'm looking for rings. I have no idea. You know, I'll start doing the bro talk with him. Be like, bro, I got you, man. Don't even worry about it. I, I literally, like, will look at a person up and down and decide who they are, and I will mimic who they are. So if they're, like, a big finance guy, well, I'll just act a- act all, like, s- like bro-ish to them. But Shares. If you, Stops. It, yeah, Shares. if you came in, like, and I saw you like this, like, I would totally reel you. You think I would shop for an engagement ring in these shorts and stuff? I think you'd come in jeans, but you'd definitely come, like, in a T-shirt. And is that like not allowed in Tiffany's? Why no? Everything's allowed, but it would tell. I would you, said, look, you said like I'm a scumbag. Like I'm no, the, no, like I'm no, the no, scum no. of the earth, dude. We're in a motherfucking. Honestly, t-shirt. people with jeans and t-shirts probably buy forty thousand uh, dollar, and the people in suits are like budgets at five. I'm like get the fuck out, like <laughs> fuck get the fuck out. out. Go, but like go sell your suit and come yeah, back to me. Usually, what I do is um they'll come in to tell me oh well I'm gonna come the weekend with my uh, girlfriend. They like Hudson Yards has like. Uh, like an edge that you can go see like the whole view of New York City so I always tell people to like go buy tickets there so it's a reasoning to come here or like go get dinner reservations for when the vessel was open go see the vessel I always tell them to stop by and once they stop by we tell security who they are so no one know no one goes to them and tries to like you know mm-hmm. sell to them so it, it except me or like the person they're working with and once they come in I'm like oh hey how you doing uh, start talking to them I'll show them like every like collection and then always like our rings are in the back so i always do that last and i try to give them like a quick glance like oh this is the tiffany t elsa Pretty, and give them all the information i'm like that's love and engagement i was like so where are you guys at let me put you on the spot buddy like what's up and then you know he turns all red and she's like oh no we're not, we're not there yet i'm like oh since you're here let's just take a look let's see what you like and then from there it's just like butter yeah, man. it's this it's whole so- deceiving fucking plot line for yeah any of our friends that are looking to get engaged like the go by the tiffany's and be like oh let's just go say what up to my friend Steve yeah. since we're fucking here yeah, and Steve's like a- here are our engagement rings that are ready for the fucking spring catalog yeah. <laughs> like, fucking <laughs> like i just up. dude i have them all just in on the artillery so it, it just makes it super easy and I always give like the girl my business card so she can email. I'm like, let's put him on the spot. Text me what you want, and then I'll show him. Mm-hmm. But little does she know that that's your way of getting their numbers. Email only. Okay. Email <laughs> only. It's super easy, but it makes it easy for both parties because you, the girl needs to know what they want. Yeah. And yeah, and that's the end of the day. The ring's not the surprise; it's how you do it. That's my biggest line. And don't buy it like six months in advance; you'll fucking die. Learn that out the uh, the easy way. <laughs> the easy way. Yeah. <laughs> so you're you're okay at work after a couple? Wait. So you're off. I'm supposed to be off today. I've been uh, like when once Noah left, we had a big customer issue. They like embossed something incorrectly. What does that mean? Embossed. So like in leather, like when you put like a name on it, it's embossing. It's like high mm-hmm. heat with like a sheet of silver. So it like shows the name or whatever. They spelled Dimitri without like one extra I and it was just like a mess. And I felt bad because he was super like nervous because he needs it for his wife and he's driving to Ohio. So I was like, I'll take care of this. But then I was at work for an extra hour. And then this morning, the person that said they could help, like, emails us saying they can't help us. Jeez. So then I was just like, are you fucking kidding me? And then I had to, like, call another store and be like, I need the favor you owe me. I have favors everywhere, and I have, a, like, a list. It's a good place and to then, be in. Oh, yeah. yeah. And I'm like, I need you guys to drive this here and do this. And they're, they're taking care of it, but it's taking longer than it needs to be, and I need it done before 7. And it's just like, this is not even day off, but I'm fucking taking one of my days, and here we are. So it's, it's always frustrating. Well, yesterday, today, tomorrow? Or is it Friday, Saturday, Sunday? Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Okay, so you got Sunday off. It's big. Yeah, yeah. So we're getting after it on Saturday. But it's so funny because like for other people, Saturday, Sunday are their day, days off. Having a Friday, Saturday, Sunday, I probably haven't had that since. 
like you know how you yeah. say you can't remember life without Heather. It's like I can't remember life when you're not just working all the weekends, all the weekends. And yeah. I'm okay with it now since I like it sucks because you work here, you live here, and I thought, oh, after work, if I'm off on a Sunday, I'll just come see you on a Saturday and we'll go out. Mm-hmm. But with COVID, it's just been nothing, so yeah. it's frustrating. So when I do have these days off, I try to plan as not as much, but I'm like, you need to not be doing anything. So I'm I'm excited for tomorrow. I told him caught me in a good week. No, no content. I didn't. I, yeah. I didn't know you were, you weren't doing that until the newsletter came out. And I'm like, so we aren't filming why yelling. So this then this is just, the first intentional piece of content that I've made this week slash like recorded or posted. The I only think, other thing that went what, out was fr- was the fade the public, but like I didn't do anything for that. That was just I came yeah. videotaped everything. We went to the fucking next. So you you kind of like me, like you needed like a week to just like decompress and just get all the noise out, and then you're gonna come back when Monday just Monday. Well, I'm not gonna have the business video Monday because that means I would have had to film it today. So I'm not re- I'm not really sure. I th- I think I'll have something. I might do a live stream Monday and then get back to it. You know, regular scheduling Tuesday through. Sunday or whatever. Um, yeah, this was... I feel like you just like doing these. I love doing these. Yeah. yeah. These are easy. It's just you and me fucking talking. Yeah. Like, I don't, don't got to do anything besides show up and talk shit. Yes, yeah, so I just needed... I don't know. I, You know, I've never really done this before. I think maybe yeah. I did it last off season when I traveled. I think that was like the first time I really liked to... And then since, you know, since I got back last like January, February from the from the thing in Vegas and California or whatever, mm. I was like full go. And then it never stopped after the season was done. So I was like, holy fuck. And it, what it was was like with all this stuff going on, you know, in my personal life and with the team and everything, it was, it was to the point where I was so focused on that shit that the quality of content I was doing was just it's like going down. Yeah. It was just, like, I couldn't find myself focusing and, and wanting to do it anymore. And I was like, I can't figure out both things at once. So I need to like put the content down to make sure that when I come back, it's good. And I'm focused back on it. Cause at the end of the day, I know that that, you know, is what makes everything go here. So yeah. So now I'm in the, in the midst of just like relaxing and it's, you feel good relatively yeah i feel good i mean you need a week i mean for you it's just like talking to a lens is probably so you can just forget you're doing it so then the quality goes down and then it's just shitty for everybody around so yeah to be honest like you this is the first time i think in like this might be what our 11th 12th episode like you sent me what you wanted to talk about this was like you were like here it is like well i've been trying to do that a little bit more lately no but i it was just like i was like oh shit he he's he's ready to go like this guy like yeah the last two weeks they literally have i've just been sitting here and then you've just been crying to me so (laughs) it's just really easy and then before then i like had long paragraphs to like figure out and see what i want to talk about but this week you had it i'm like fuck i just need to show up and that was the hardest part for me this week i was like i don't even know what day i can show up yeah i like a lot of (laughs) shit going on too and i was like you know it's like i've been working a lot on the on the draft guy behind the scenes so i've been like making content but more like writing and and, like planning stuff out but like just the idea of not getting in front of the camera was like really nice not having to like set everything up not having to do it edit it and shit like that so that that was nice that was a nice little peace of mind thing for me so i'm 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 ready to so you kind of worked on a draft guide this week a little bit a lot yeah there was a lot of catch-up i needed to do content so what's what's coming out first uh, so we have the Dynasty Rookie Guide, which we're like redesigning the entire site right now. Like we just did that ag- again. Yeah, it it wasn't going in the direction that 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 I loved. Um, so we like kind of pivoted away. I think we're finally going to get like a design guy involved into it to figure out what we need next steps. But like for the most part, the actual content itself is in there. I would say like seventy five. Where is it going to live? The app or the website or they starting the on that it's starting on they're going to be the same thing okay. eventually but it's starting on the website and then once we put it into the app um it'll all be kind of like just sinking into okay. itself you know what i'm yeah. saying so we need to start with the website but the design is just was just not where i needed it to be from a user perspective but mo- it's like once we get the design down everything else is already like underneath yeah. it ready to go so we just like kind of click the button and it fucking goes so I think we're there, but I've also been saying this for like fucking a month, two months now. So I really don't know. The tentative launch date is April 1st. Okay. Would I put money that that's, that's like next week. So would yeah. I put money that it happens? Like, I don't fucking know, but. Is this like a very late draft guide for you? Are they usually out by now or? We usually would have a decent amount of content out right now within the draft guide. Yeah. So you get a little nervous or. Yeah, definitely. In a, in a year that we're not going to be liquid. Yeah. I would need my fucking li- my liquidity product to be out and running right now. So yeah, it doesn't. So is the content itself kind of done it's just like you're waiting for the website pretty much yeah shouldn't you just fucking the content itself is not no because i need it like the website itself is going to be multiple things within it so it's going to be the draft guide it's going to be our merch store and it's going to be all of the the stuff that you get from being a patreon member all on the same website and 
I want to make sure everything is together so it's less confusing. That being said, though, say you purchase a membership thing or whatever, I want to be able to make a custom video for like that page being like, thank you for purchasing. Like, here's a video explaining what you need to do next. Mm. I can't make that video until the website is designed. Jeez. You know what I'm saying? Because I can't like show a video of a website that's not the right website. And then when I put that video live, people are like, what is this? You know what I'm saying? So that it's, makes like, perfect sense. it's like a chicken <laughs> yeah, or the yeah, egg yeah. kind of thing yeah, right yeah, now yeah. where I'm like waiting on a few things, but like those things can't be done until I do, you know, it's like, it's like kind of fucked right now. Do you have a design guy yet? This is what we're like working on. I think we're in the mid, he's going within his network to get the design guy. And okay. I think we should be like, we're in good standing right now. I just think that we're like a few things away from making it. all. So quick. I think this was definitely a good learning experience for you. Like, okay. End of the day, this guy was doing it um, out of passion. And sometimes passion is great, but you need some funds to just like make that beast roll. Cause yeah. like uh, it was on his time. And then you had a timeline. Those will never work together. So next time, I think you need to be like, hey, this is it. I, what do we need cash-wise to make this work? Yeah. Because this can't happen again. Like, no. if you want to do the website, the app, or anything like that, it can't be. It's your time and your timeline. Yeah. That's why I'm like, I'm like, you know, we need. Like the guy is doing a great job. It's not, we're not, like, shitting on him. It's just like now, moving forward, it's just like, we need this done. I could. This is not a passion project. This is the project. You know what else I've realized is like a huge problem with our brand? Anything aesthetic online is like photo based, you know? Like most companies have like a lot of good pictures and images that make everything look clean. We don't ever, and this is like a personal thing with us too. Like yeah. we don't ever take, if you asked me to take a professional picture, like I wouldn't know how to do that. And I wouldn't even know what to take it of. You know, like we don't have any images. We don't have any photos. We don't have anything like that. And when you're designing a website, like you might not notice it, but that makes or breaks how good a website looks like, you know what I'm saying? Like we have so much video content. Yeah. It's cool. But like that doesn't make a clean fucking website, you know? So like, I feel like you forgot that, like, even though you're the brand, the brand needs like this logo needs to be shining somewhere. So everybody knows what it means. And I don't even know what the pictures need, need to be of. I don't like know. Like a rust. I, when you said picture, I just pictured like a rustic picture of like PDGE yeah, background. Yeah, but like, it's, like, it's like, okay, so on the homepage, basically we want an extremely clean homepage where it's literally just like the six products you could buy. Dynasty guide, season guide, combo guide, Patreon one, Patreon two, merch. Like those six mm -hmm. things lined up as like pictures. We'll have like the logo on the left side. And that's it. Like, you, you know, yeah, no just, confusion for the customer. You just know exactly what you want. You click on it. Boom. Good. But the pictures for those things, like we don't like. What, what am I gonna fucking put there? I'm thinking about making like memes for each one, but I'm like, no, eh. you know, yeah, exactly. You like, can't do that. But uh, but it need it can't. But like merchandise. Why wouldn't you just put like a picture? Of, merch like, is a sweater. like merch is like fine. We yeah. can, merch is like. So the what's only another one. one? Let's think about this. Like the draft guide, the season long draft guide. It's it's a, it's like a website online. It's like I'm not gonna put a football player picture because that's not us. That's like a corny. Like I'm not doing that. That's what mm -hmm. everyone does. But like, what can I do in order for it to be both polished, aesthetic, and also on brand? I'm like it's you know like mm -hmm. this is where I'm like, ah, dude. Like, he can't help us because he's not the brand, you know? He's not a design guy either, but neither am I. I know the brand, but I don't know how to put it into imagery. A pizza box with draft on it. Done. What? Send it. Maybe. Maybe yeah, I'll do that. Think Fuck about it. it. Yeah, send me over like four or five more of those yeah. ideas. I just, need, just I just need to know what we need. I need, <laughs> yeah. I need time to sit. And then I'm actually pretty good with thinking like about that. I just need like some time, like an hour. I need an hour with just the, the word and then my brain just No interruptions. Yeah, like okay. straight hour and just like, okay, boom. I all right, it. well, I'll send you over the website, what we have right now, and then yeah. like I'll show you what I mean by all that shit. So it's, yeah, it's just like a lot of shit that I feel like. You might honestly need a girl perspective on pictures because I feel like aesthetically they think better than us. Yeah. Like even though maybe they're not on brand, it could just be like, oh, that's a nice picture because it makes sense. Oh, yeah, I would send it over to my sister, Kelly, but like I feel like no matter what we do, she's going to be like, no, I hate that. Yeah, she's going to like yell at us and just be like. Yeah. So I'm not going to do that. Yeah. You know the um, the glasses you sent me from? Felix Gray? Yeah. So they're a little small, like on my head. I think I have a big ass head. And every time like my boss is yelling at me, I just put them on and she just cracks <laughs> up. She's like, she's like, you look awful. And I'm like, oh, <laughs> okay. So it, it, it's been working well on uh, making her laugh. So she stopped yelling at me, but they're a little small. I've noticed that with a few of the Felix Gray ones, the... the yeah, they're a little bit compact if you get the wrong ones. They need a big head, man. Like, big head glasses. Were you, were, were you the one that I said looked good in the other ones I bought? Those are, like, pretty compact. Like, the clear no, ones. No, no, the ones I... Oh, yeah. Uh, no, not that wasn't me. I sent you a picture. You're like, you look good, but oh, it was yeah, literally yeah, yeah. me tilting. The one like, you keep sending me, yeah. 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 <laughs> 
they, they can be hit or miss with their stuff because sometimes the designs are like for smaller face people but like the black ones i have are like perfect for my face you yeah know, no like they fit they're, they're wide enough yeah but i've gotten ones where i'm like these don't fit because my eyes are not like fucking one inch apart but i still wear them for the computer so i haven't they had work really well yeah they do i'll give you that i love felix gray yeah we got on a call with them a couple of days ago uh they want to they said the, the test run of just like one video went really well probably because i fucking bought glasses for all my fucking boys <laughs> <laughs> put different addresses in and shit now it i think it went really well so they're like what well, we want to do something for for the year it's not like high volume they want to do it once a month and i told them like during the summer we get much more engagement and stuff so like we, we should ramp up to like two or three months and like yeah we should we you can do that so we might run like 25 spots with them which would be really good the product's obviously natural fit for me because i fucking love their product it's easy for me to sell it yeah it's good it's good partnership good money good natural fit so um so yeah <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> We're making some fucking money. Yeah, we're go making... red still. Every time we get a, a check from them, we should just spend it. <laughs> we should rip it in Any half. check we void. get, yeah, like we're going red. Right, void. <laughs> no matter what. What the fuck is this? Is it my boss calling you? Because she just called me. I don't know. Mike sent a weird picture into a group chat. I don't know what this means or if I'm missing something. Like, what does this mean? It's like a horse, but if a horse was in the movie Tron. And then it just says, like, Mercy Lago on it. Why is he sending this? That's what I'm fucking saying. I have no idea. Is he high? I don't think Mike is high, really. Wait, who is this? Mike. Oh, maybe he wants to buy an, an, another digital art down the <laughs> tubes. Maybe. Oh, maybe that is what it, it could be. He just put no context behind it. Yo, Noah gets the funniest fucking comments on YouTube, bro. Does he? It's just people talking about how he looks, yeah, because his look has been has gotten, like, ridiculous over the last, like, two to three years. I think now. he looked good last time I saw him. No, no, no. I didn't mean, yeah. like, it looks bad. It's just, like, it's just, like... It's, crazy looking it's just like very out there it's like the Noah? yeah like Why? the long hair and like the fucking i don't know he just got some fucking steez about him i don't see it i just i just think he has a really cool look just living you know i'm talking about like no like like fb god Noah. yeah i don't know like i don't maybe because that's all i know him has so maybe. i just think well, well if he, your name's fb god you're gonna have the look to match you he's have so to. pissed he has that name does he yeah yeah fb god <laughs> yeah <it's, laughs> this is not the best you can't change your twitter right Nah. handle or anything like that you can't change the handle you could change like the name above it but mm. you can't change the at wow and yeah. it's ready like you can't yeah yeah Maybe you can email them you think twitter's like yeah you, oh you think oh I'm since getting you, harassed since you put it this way and you what are saying getting harassed like they don't give change. a fuck actually i have a twitter connect he might be i don't think he has the power of doing that i feel like that's like a law that they have there like that's no like you do this it's like your screen name back in the day little play at 292 Fucking B ball is life eight five three B ball for life with the number four I eight five three. When you used to like get off aim, what was your like your going away message or something? Did you have one? I probably says skirt. Mine was always one and space L U V. Well, <laughs> you're such a <laughs> fucking loser. I was a player, man. What do you want to do? I was living up to my. Uh, you weren't my username, what and it was L I L P L A Y A, and every, it was I was before the spun brought me. Everything else was like capital. Uncapital, capital, uncapital. That's so uncapital. annoying. I think my shit was always all lowercase. Now that I think about it. Yeah, because you're a follower, sheep. I feel like I created that. Yeah, whatever. So what did you do this week with all this free time? Um, Let's see. Well, Saturday I went out. Sunday I went to brunch. Monday I passed away. Tuesday I went to the garden. Last night, um, I didn't do anything last night. Mm. I think I was... You didn't do anything last night? I could have filmed last night? I think... I thought I, had, I thought I had plans, but they like kind of fell through. Mm. Don't hmm me. Couldn't tell me that. Uh, well, they like it was like last minute. They fell through. I'm actually really excited to um, come back tomorrow with a vengeance. Yeah, so we filmed this today. I'll work for the rest of the day probably, and then uh, tomorrow we go fucking nuts. Are Are you like willing to go nuts? Because usually when I say I want to go nuts, you're like, I only have to write a PDF JPEG <laughs> over here. I think I'm in. I think I'm in for a big day tomorrow yeah i think i could send it yeah yeah dude steen's coming we haven't had a steen day in a while so is it you me heath and steen yeah ba back to the basics oh, that really is that's yeah. foundational <laughs> yes it's foundational to like fucked upness these stairs we should have sent steen down them dude, you we'd have i'd have to pay my security deposit gone yeah so what right. are we gonna do? are we gonna bar hop or I, I i think we should hit central park if it's gonna be nice the park's gonna be popping tomorrow i feel like steen's not a park guy he's definitely not but like should we get him a chair yeah. Yeah. We should get him come. Bring him one of these chairs. You know how many times you'd like fall back? On? <laughs> Bring the whole beanbag. Yeah, I'm down. No, I'm down to go to Central Park, play some tunes. Maybe a, you, have, you have football. We'll throw the old pigskin. That could convince Dean to go. Yeah. How? 
I don't know. Like, still, you no. know what? So I got vaccinated. Vaccinated Tuesday. 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 You think you're better than me? Yeah, because I'm vaccinated. I am better than you. <coughs> Give it to me. I got it at MSG. Good. I can't get it. It's fine. But you only it, got the first dose. Yeah, but it's whatever. Sixty six percent. They said Steve. That's that thirty three percent cough me, right there. They gave me two shots. They gave you j- extra juice. Yeah. They Did you get fucked up? No, right. The so what? Ha- so I think it's supposed to like hurt your arm. So I was fine. It was like a regular shot. It yeah. makes you look bruised a little bit. And it was Especially fine. And I don't know bitch. where like Heather like touched my arm and she activated it. Oh. She like and I was like, ow. Why'd you do that? Did you get like veins fucking popping through everywhere? I just went to bed. <laughs> but I didn't even care. And it, it didn't hurt that much. But I've been having a pain in this shoulder. Like sharply. I feel like I, I actually heard that from people too. No, like, no. This is previous. Th- uh, I don't even know why I said I got vaccinated. I just wanted to talk about how much pain I have in the shoulder. And I haven't done like any physical t- activity in like a year. When's the, is it, has it been a year since like last time you like actually worked out? No, I think I ran in uh, April. And then I like tore like four knees, like knee ligaments. In April, as in last April. Yeah, that's one year ago. It's March. <laughs> it's, it's April in like two days. Yeah, I just go. What, what, you haven't like worked out in like a year. Yeah. No, I've worked out in April. Like eleven months. In eleven months and seventeen days ago. Exactly. It's not a year. Nah. So pro- wow, so you're on you're on a fucking fitness bender right now, dude. You know, I've been like. Coasting, like I said, like it was just like I mean, I think I gained, I gained, I gained like ten pounds. Where do you get off that you can coast? <laughs> I gained. That you can fucking physically coast. So it, I'll tell you what. <laughs> I'll tell you fucking what. The last couple of months, though, it's been getting like I could feel it. Like the weight, the weight hurts. The shoulder just hurts out of nowhere. Good. And I still don't have any motivation to do anything. <laughs> yeah, it's tough. I still got no fucking motivation. Yeah, but at least you look like this. <sighs> I look good. Yeah, I'm better than I do. You didn't before. <laughs> when? Like, literally, if Heather, like... Okay, gives, you can't ask Heather's opinion. Of- she gives me a blowjob, her forehead probably hits my stomach before she, like... <laughs> That's where we're at right now. That just means you got a small cock. Sorry, Steve. Nothing to do with your stomach. Oh, wow. There's a cock down. Did I just out, out myself? <laughs> yeah. Nice. Down bad. How do you... How am I gonna... I need, I need you to motivate me. For the gym, I can't even motivate myself. I don't have it in. I don't have it in me. Like you know, a year or two years ago, I could have got you in there, and no problem. So what are we doing? Like what am I doing? I need you finally. You're gonna have to move in. That's like not a real. You're gonna need to move into the new apartment that I don't have fucking have yet. <laughs> yeah, there's no hope for you. <laughs> there's barely hope for me right now. I hit my age peak. I'm getting so many phone calls. Does that work, Jason? Yeah, he's actually d- doing favors for me. Oh, uh, he's one of those guys. Yeah, he's, he's one of them. I got people all around. His boss is sending him. Someone else we're fucking eight, eight years old. <laughs> I got guys everywhere. Fuck I me. literally have. Do we have anything else to speak on? I don't know, dog. You the fucking host. I'm so fucked right now. Wait, oh, why is the um, the loan not going through? Uh, probably because I filled out the application incorrectly. So, uh, so the PPP loan, and I don't know if this is. Do people get negative connotations for taking a PPP loan? I think so. They do, right? Yeah. I didn't take it last year because, like, I legitimately was like, yo, we have so much cash. We're, before COVID happened, like, I really projected us to grow by, like, three and a half, four X. And I was like, no, nah, I don't want this fucking stupid-ass PPP loan, you know? Like, I don't need that shit. Like, let small businesses that actually need it take it, you know? I was, like, on some real <laughs> ignorant shit last year. And then um, and then I would have loved to have taken it because it's completely just tax-free. On You don't have to pay it back or anything. It's not a loan. It's just like literally a handout basically to small businesses. And then this year came around and uh, Mr. Bankovic was like, emailed me one day and he was like, yo, you should take the loan. It's just $20,000 of, of like free money. And I'm again looking at things like, oh, I don't know how liquid we're going to be. Like this could actually help a little bit. Yeah, for sure. So I'm thinking like, is this is this like, because f- I feel like I've heard people like talk shit about people who take PPP loans, you know? And I'm like, is that like, I think you should take it for the wrong reasons. Yeah. Okay. That's what, yeah. Like I, I didn't feel bad. End not, of the day. Like, yeah. Yeah. I was like, okay, that 20,000 cash would like come in really, really handy this year to just yeah, like, like, you need it now. It's just like, at the, if you took it last year when you didn't need it, maybe it's like, fuck you. Yeah. So like I started filling out the application and they need all these different documents being uploaded. Like your, your driver's license, they need schedule C, which is basically like the last sheet of just showing your incomes and expenses from the previous year. But like we did the, from the IRS and we did the fucking taxes last year. They never sent it back. They right? never sent me a copy back or anything. So, so I'm like, so I'm, I'm just sending them a copy of what we sent in. So I'm like, I don't know if they just like take your word for that shit or if that's why I didn't yeah. go through. You also need to send a picture of a voided check, which I didn't, I don't have checks. For, I don't write checks for our business, right? The only people I pay are like our friends that I'll pay for like fucking Venmo or PayPal or yeah. something. So I don't, I didn't have a voided check. So I needed to get that sent to me. So I just, 
did a personal check and voided it and sent that in. So there's like four documents that like I sent in that were like probably like iffy borderline. The application itself is like not difficult. You're just filling out very basic information about the business. And then it, I kept getting emails like finish your application, finish your application. So I'd go to it and then I go to the, uh, the website that it sent me to and the checklist of things that I need to finish were all checked off. And it was like application done. So I'm like, why do I keep getting fucking emails about it? Eventually it updated and it was like your application was not approved. I'm trying to get in contact with them and I can't get in contact with anybody. I emailed them like four times, heard nothing back. Finally got on the phone with them after waiting forever. And they're like, yeah, we're going to be sending you an email in like a couple of days of why it didn't go through. And I'm like, I'm not getting that email. Cause like, yeah, they already got denied like a week or two ago. You were already fucking sent that shit. They're like, just reapply again. So I reached out to my accountant. I'm like, can you just do this for me? Cause I'm probably doing it wrong. Yeah. So I sent them over the information we needed and like, that was like two days ago. So I'm just waiting to hear back on it. The only reason I really care about it, like if it didn't go through, like it's whatever, but I'm also waiting on that to know what I want to do with Scott and the editors. Like Scott mm -hmm. was like, yo, let's get on a call this week to figure out what you want to do for next year. I think our contract was up. Figure out if you just want me doing FTP again, or you want me to doing more of like high level shit. Yeah. And I was like, the only reason I haven't got on that call with him yet is because I'm waiting for the PPP loan to either come through or not. So I know if I'm taking budget from here and shooting it in there or if I'm just taking the PPP loan putting it in there as like payroll expenses so that's also like backtracking me a couple things so I'm waiting on I don't like fucking having to wait on things that I can't control you know and that's what pisses me off about this loan that's what pisses me off about the fucking website and shit it's like things I can't control because otherwise I'd sit down and fucking knock this stuff out yeah for sure put the hours in but yeah now the PPP loan just won't go through and they don't like t it's one of those things they don't tell you like you're you're denied reapply but we're not going to tell you why you were denied so I'm like am I just playing a fucking guessing game here like you know that's yeah that's annoying but I, I feel like you just telling me those four things are the reason why you got denied. Like avoided personal check and then... Uh, well, uh, yes. And, but then I don't want to like get into like the boring details, but like I thought I made sure I like plugged the holes on whatever those problems were. Like I reached out to some guy at, at the bank that does the lending for it. And he was like, oh, as long as you do a document like proving your bank account. He's like, oh, the only reason that you need the voided check was so that they have your bank account information. But if you make a PDF account with the information, sign it and send it over in PDF form, that should take care of it. So I also included that along with the personal check telling them like, I know I can't send a personal check, but if you need this other document, you know, it was like, it was definitely like a, a janky way of sending in the documents. But yeah, maybe if your accountant does it, they just take it more seriously. They just think you're just like he, he would be entering in my information, so it's not like he's. They wouldn't even know he did it, but he would just probably do, do it the might, right way. There might have been like something I filled out incorrectly as well. Yeah, so I feel like one wrong dick. thing because they don't want to get free money. Yeah, it's just if you get it, you get it. Yeah, so I don't know. We'll see. Hopefully, I'll know by next episode. I think I probably should know. Hopefully, I don't you know, know what one dub gets you. Two L's. Yes. Story of our lives. We up? Yeah. <laughs> Bye. Skirt. Wow, you look like you're full of energy. That was good. Big I, energy guy. I tell you, son, this. When I tell you my sleep, like I know I say this to you a lot, and like I'm. I'm usually not exaggerating. I usually have bad sleep, but it, this went on like 13, probably 13 or so days of, of like. You looked awful. Yeah. You look re re rejuvenated. Bad. Oh, I thought you meant like right now. No, nah, you look okay. I was going to ask you like, how do, how do I look? Because normally it's really bad nah, feedback. You're, you're, you're good now. Oh, fuck. You're back. Yeah, I'm fucking back. It was like 13 straight days of probably three hours of really bad sleep. Did you just wake up and just cry every time? I haven't cried in a week. <laughs> yes. I haven't cried in a week. We should put a board. I haven't cried in a A cry count? Yeah, a cry on count. On the whiteboard? I mean, I got, a lot of, I got enough whiteboard. I think I've been good, though. Since we filmed the last time, I don't think... Yeah, I think I'm good. Like a piccolo. Do you even know what a piccolo is? I don't know what I feel like. This is <laughs> Do you know piccolo. what it looks like? Like this? I'm asking because I don't know either. This is a piccolo until I'm proven wrong. Yeah, I feel like a piccolo is like a violin looking thing. No, I think a piccolo is, you know, when like that creature with horns, but it's half goat, half person and plays the... Like a pegasaur? <laughs> yeah, like it has like bamboo, like four things. I think that's a piccolo. I'm like nervous. I, how do you even spell it? I tried to... Piccolo. Spell it. P-I-C. That's what I did. Don't say C O yep. C O L O. This is good, dude. Oh wait, maybe that's just a restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> this has got a Dragon Ball Z character. We're never gonna know what a fucking piccolo looks like. Piccolo. Sometimes when I can't spell, which is most, I just say it to the phone. Yeah, that's a good idea. Oh, dude, it's like it's a flute. So I was right. What's the difference between a fucking recorder and a piccolo or a flute? So am I holding a piccolo correctly? You no know, fucking dude. These are twenty three hundred dollars. You know, weird. You got to be to be like I want to play that shit. Should what? I, I don't. Can you buy me one? I'll learn. I, most instruments are like 
What's the point of playing a piccolo? Like, where, what's what's the ceiling in your life of when if you're a piccolo player? I feel like you're just amazing at the flute. No, you started recording, recording a recorder, and I don't mean talent. Like, where, where do you go from there? A piccolo? Yeah. It's fucking, you're just you're gonna I, join an orchestra? Yeah. Like, you definitely have a solo for like Black Swan. Probably one. It's like Nick Galano, piccolo times. Like, <laughs> there's probably one professional piccolo player in the world. Yeah, and he probably cashes out. <laughs> just cashes out. He's got such a high demand. Yeah, Max contract. Piccolo, piccolo God. Player. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. 